you know, we, we signed, contracted to do a rematch, and that's what it is right now. Uh, it's still up in the air, given the uh, fact that Showtime has no longer uh, decided to do boxing. So everything's up in the air right now with that. But uh, nothing's been noted to me that the fight would not happen. So, you know, uh, that's the fight. And what weight will that be up, Jim? We don't know yet. Well, the contract say 147. So, you know, uh, that's what it's at right now. You know, who knows? We, we can decide on 54 or 147. You know, right now, you know, everything's up in the air right now. It's what you heard it from Terrence Crawford. The contract weight for the rematch is at 147, not 154. So since Terrence Crawford is the A side, it's within his right to say, you know what? I want the rematch at 147. Besides, there are three titles to go for at 147. But to shut the fanboys up, even though there's nothing to fight for at 154, because Zoo has one title and Jamal Charlo, Jamel Charlo has the other three for right now. I would like to have the fight at 154 because the excuse after the fight to make them feel better because they're still hurting by the defeat is that Errol Spence was weight drained at 147. Now the latest excuse is, this is not just from fanboys, this is from some content creators too. Errol Spence was on painkillers because he broke two ribs. I am assuming that he broke those two ribs in training camp, yet there's no links, no one said anything, Errol Spence had made no excuses, but these fanboys are so hurt by the defeat, now they're saying he broke two ribs in training camp. They will not give Terrence Crawford credit for the victory. And what is my saying about excuses in the ring? Once you get in the ring, there's no excuses. But these guys every day on Twitter got new excuses why Terrence Crawford beat Errol Spence besides a skill gap. I mean, the victory is so traumatizing to them. They're crying on Twitter talking about, I cannot watch that fight ever, ever again. Estrogen levels are at an all-time high. For me, Terrence Crawford is just a better fighter than Errol Spence, and I called that five years ago before the accident when I seen him in there with Chris Algieri. He just doesn't have that extra gear. Good fighter, not great. These guys were thinking about the rumored sparring sessions between him and Mayweather when Mayweather said he gave him the best sparring when he got out of jail. And they ran with that. And they thought to herself, he's the next coming of Mayweather. No way Crawford could beat an Errol Spence, a healthy Errol Spence like that, if he's the next coming of Mayweather. To me, the broken rib story is just made up. No one knows anything. They're just coming with new stuff to taint Terrence Crawford's victory because they can't handle that Errol Spence got beat like a drum. Let's think about the excuses they had. Chance Crawford's on PEDs, he's with Snack. But they had to get away from that because the guy they follow now, Boots Ennis, was on Snack. Also, a lot of PBC fighters are on Snack. And then they came with Spence had neurological problems. He should not be fighting anymore. And then he was weight drained. The fight needs to be at 154. And now they're talking about he had two broken ribs. How convenient. The beatdown of Errol Spence hurt a lot of his fanboys emotionally. I don't think they will recover. And a lot of them will hate Terrence Crawford forever, even though they don't know the man. Just because that he beat a guy that they swing on his nuts daily. I respect Errol Spence because he took his loss like a man, unlike his fanboy. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.